Violence surging in cities. A new video shows criminals acting more brazen than ever. In New York City, a man brutally sucker punched a 55 year old Asian woman. It is sickening. She's now reportedly in stable condition. The suspect charged was apparently arrested eight times in the past year. Eight times. In San Francisco, a police officer was pummeled by a homeless man until bystanders stepped in to help her. So, Harold, you live, you live in New York, a few blocks from me. I see you all the time. <laughs> uh, uh, you should wear more clothes when you jog, though. <laughs> right. I thought okay. we'd keep that between us. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this guy was arrested actually 17 times. He's homeless, eight times in the past year. You live here. What do you think? We know there's a spike in crime, but these crimes are very similar. They're not even linked to... They're not even linked to theft. They're just these. Is what do you think that what do you think is the real problem here? Well, we got to stop it. We need to. We need not to defund the police. We need to yeah. put as much as we can in police departments across the country. I think it's naive to think that you can't hold police accountable and fund the police. We should do both too. I think there's a mental health issue we've got to address, and I think that one aspect of the defund the police conversation it gets caught up we, we think badly about it because we talk about defunding police but we got to think about mental health and what what the police do whether or not we have a different force or force within the force to deal with that also have some concerns around bail reform i think it was well intentioned yeah. but i'm not convinced mm -hmm. that we're getting after we're solving the problem that we wanted to solve in fact we may be we we may be have we may have overreached here that doesn't mean we shouldn't go back and look at it and try to get it right but what we have now is not working mm -hmm. and kids uh, moms and dads, uh, people in every community should feel safe walking outside of their, their door. I mean, it is, it's Dagan, it's a, it's just a, it's a creepy atmosphere. It's like, you, because it's, it, you, the people that you see committing these acts are not well. And I, my theory is that they are, they, when they look at shelters, there's not a place for them. They, they're not going to the shelters and they're being spun out of prison. They don't care because they just go back into jail and maybe jail's preferable to the shelters. There's not, there's, we gave $800 million to, to de Blasio's wife to do this Thrive thing. That should have solved more than this and it, nothing has happened. No, that was a boondoggle. Like yeah. you could have thrown that money down in a, an open manhole in mm -hmm. New York City. Part of the problem is, is and, and I don't mean to disparage police, but with people who are mentally ill, I've seen people, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, someone rub, rubbing human yeah. excrement on the outside of, say, a CVS, mm -hmm. they're not going to arrest that individual. Because mm -hmm. uh, with, this, with this man who, hit, uh, who um, assaulted this Asian woman, he's been arrested 40 times. Mm. So uh, under <laughs> bail reform, every time you get picked up, you aren't held. There's no bail, you're right back out on the street, and then the crimes aren't prosecuted. If they pick up somebody who's mentally ill, that individual might go to, say, Bellevue Hospital for 72 hours. There has been a vast deinstitutionalization of the mentally ill since uh, JFK, quite frankly, and it's only gotten worse, and that means there's not a lot of help for people who really need it, number one. Number two, just quickly to watch the mayoral primary that's coming up June 22nd, Eric Adams, former po retired police captain, captain strong on um, police, but uh, Catherine Garcia, who's been backed by the New York Times, she says officers who did not wear masks during last year's protest have to be docked their pay. Oh. That's her stance on cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, good. Jesse, this is, oh, this is New York, but we're seeing lots of stuff all over the country, um, but we're not seeing much of it in the suburbs. So is this just something that only the city people are dealing with, and, and is it COVID-related? It is, so thanks for bringing us back to the city, Greg. Yeah. We really appreciate that. <laughs> but there's a judge out there who stared in the eyeballs of this deranged lunatic, looked at his rap sheet, right, and slammed the gavel down and probably said probation. Yeah. And didn't sentence the guy. There's a bad judge out there that could have thrown the book at this guy and didn't. And back in the day, I would have been at the judge's doorstep at 6 a.m. and stuck a mic in his face because he's a villain. Mm -hmm. And you have to humiliate these judges in order for them to get tougher. Because without a judge that gets tough, you're going to keep rolling out these perps and they're going to keep committing crimes. The deinstitutionalization situation, liberals love institutionalizing someone that fires off a gun. They're ready to go to court the next day, have the gun seized, have all their constitutional rights taken away from them. But you can have some lunatic out there and sock someone, push them in front of a train, Horrible. and then the next day they're out on the streets again. You need to institutionalize these people because they're sick.
Mm -hmm. I'll make this one final point, and you can tie this back to our discussion on the economy. And you look at what's happening in some of these blue states with the defund the police movement or, or slashing police budgets, and you look at the spike and rise in crime, and then you see video like that that just makes your heart hurt. Thank God we're hearing she's in stable condition, that woman. But And how do you expect to return full workforce to a city like New York when you see these random awful attacks happening on cities. I, I mean, I, for anybody walking down a, a, a block in New York right now, I don't feel safe. It's, I don't, there's, I mean, it, this could happen to anyone anywhere at any moment. I think the thing that is so shocking about this modern type of violence is that it's the victims. Like, who hits an old lady? That's in the back of your head. That's the thing. It's like who hits an old lady? Predators or, go for the weakest. Yeah, that's but, who they're targeting. But they're not. E they're not even taking stuff from them. They're just pounding them. And then right. it's obviously the guy is a psychotic. He was on special K, which is I don't know what kind of drug that is. Well, that's why Harold's running through the streets so fast. Yes. He's trying to get away from everybody. <laughs> All right. That's why I forget my clothes. Yeah, you know? <laughs> He's got his socks though. Coming up, a hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.